Welcome back everyone to another video. In this one, we'll be taking a look into a few Vulkan API graphic demos running on the Heike 960. So before we get into making Vulkan work on the Heike 960 using Android O, let's take a look into what Vulkan actually is. Vulkan is the next big thing in graphics API and as Wikipedia cites it, Vulkan is a low overhead cross-platform 3D graphics and compute API. Vulkan targets high performance real-time 3D graphics application such as video games and interactive media across all platforms compared with OpenGL Direct 3D 11 and Direct 3D 12 and Mantle Vulkan can offer higher performance with more balanced CPU and GPU usage. In other words, Vulkan not only claims to improve performance on the GPU side by enabling low-level control, it also aims to improve support for multi-core CPUs, allowing developers to easily distribute compute load over multiple cores to improve performance. And with commercially available ARM CPUs easily having up to 10 cores, Vulkan will soon be the preferred API over something like OpenGL and OpenGL ES. Google had added native support for Vulkan API and libraries in AOSP starting with Android 7 and since the Heike 960 runs Android O, it can support Vulkan on the software side. On the hardware side, uh, the Heike 960 has a Mali G71 MP8 for its GPU which definitely has support for the Vulkan API enabled by ARM. As of now, an official patch pull request has been made by me on Android Review that enables support for Vulkan API on the Heike 960, which has been accepted and merged, and it is only a matter of time that official builds are available. The demos you are seeing on your screen are taken from Sasha Williams' GitHub repository linked in the description down below. So I'll leave you all with the demo, and thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing, and I'll see you all in another one.